Now this, today President Biden's border czar Kamala Harris broke her 21-day silence on the issue. I have talked with uh, the president of Mexico, the, Me the president of Guatemala. Um, we have, uh, well, I'm probably saying too much, but we have plans in the work to go to Guatemala um, as soon as possible, um, given all of the restrictions in terms of COVID and things of that nature. So she's going to visit Mexico and Guatemala eventually, but not the U.S. southern border and not the children in cages. They'll just have to wait. Joining me now to discuss Tommy Lahren, host of No Interruption on Fox Nation, and Fox News contributor Richard Fowler. Uh, guys, thanks so much for uh, joining me. Uh, Tommy, I want to go to you first. You just came from the border. Uh, did you run into our vice president when you were there? You know, she must have been in camouflage because I did not see her there. But I'll tell you this. I'm happy that she plans to visit Mexico and Guatemala at some point to see the root causes of why people are coming over here. But I can tell her exactly why people are coming over here. It is her administration, the Biden administration, that has issued that cattle call for people to come over. And the root causes of people coming over and the reason that their countries are so messed up in the first place is because these illegal immigrants are paying cartel and criminal organizations thousands and thousands of dollars to be traipsed into our country illegally, thus funding Funding the problems in those home countries. So if you don't stop the cattle call, if you don't apply consequences, it's never going to end. These countries that they're coming from are never going to be repaired. And our country certainly will continue to come last as it has for the entirety of this administration. Richard, what do you think about that? Because no matter where you stand on the immigration reform debate, you have to admit that the policies uh, of Joe Biden and the rhetoric of Joe Biden caused this crisis. Uh, no, I won't admit that because I don't think Joe Biden caused this crisis. This mm -hmm. crisis has been decades in the making. Number one, let's take a, a jaunt down history lane and, and understand this. It wasn't, it's not cartels is the reason why folks are leaving this country. The reason why cartels exist is because of America's failed war on drugs, which Tommy forgot to talk about, right? When we created a war on drugs in this country and we penalized folks for having possession of marijuana and other things, what we created was a black market. And that black market is where the cartels thrived. And when those cartels thrived, they also started importing people to the United States on our southern border. I'm happy to see Kamala Harris go to Mexico and Guatemala, but let's understand, the Donald Trump had four years to, quote, unquote, fix the problems at the border, and he didn't. So, we are but, but, day but, 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 let's, of the talk, Biden let's talk about the facts, let's though, give Richard. Them a chance and, to and I, I fix think it. there's a fair <laughs> conversation to have about drugs crossing the border, if they should be legalized or anything. But the policy specifically, when you listen, listen to other foreign leaders like in Guatemala, they blame the former president. Take a look at this. I believe in the first few weeks of the Biden administration, messages were confusing. There were compassionate messages that were understood by people in our country, especially the coyotes, to tell families, we'll take the children. The children can go in, and once the children are there, they will call their parents. So, Tommy, you interview the people that are crossing the border. They say Joe Biden told us to come. When you talk to foreign leaders, they say the same thing. So who's right and who's wrong? Yeah, I'm sorry, Richard, but it's really not up for discussion when you actually speak to migrants and you actually speak to Border Patrol who have spoken to these migrants and asking them why they're coming, and they say that Joe Biden sent me and told me I don't have to go home. It's pretty cut and dried exactly while they're coming. But I also want to push back against something that you said uh, in, your, in your previous statement about how Trump was not solving the problem. No, Donald Trump was absolutely solving that problem. I was just down at the border. Well, I've been the to the border several be times the border during right the now, Trump administration. Let me finish. Let me finish. I was there during the Trump administration after he implemented those policies that remain in Mexico, after he sent the message that you have to wait in line on the Mexican side and get a number if you are if indeed you claiming asylum. If you solve the problem, Tommy, the problem the goes away. Claims. The problem still exists today, which means Donald Trump didn't solve it. Well, well I'm a hot being, guys, because we got to go. The problem, the problem exists. Is the problem is it exists because, because he, got rid, some, it, he got right. rid of some of the, the remaining Mexico agreements, and foreign leaders have said that. The people that are coming across the border are saying that. But it was a great debate to have you both on. Tommy, Richard, thanks so much. Good to see you, Lawrence.